Welcome back to the People Station V103 and News and Talk 1380 WAOK. This is the Atlanta Mayoral Forum. Uh, we want to say thank you to our radio audience as well as to those viewing by way of Facebook Live. And thank you to the live audience we have today. I will conduct this second segment, Q&A. I'm Rashad Richard, the midday host for WAOK. I provide political commentary for V103. I hold a PhD in political science and am a university professor. My colleague, Maria Boynton, is the morning news anchor for V103 and WAOK. She joined CBS Radio Atlanta following 20 years of covering presidential campaigns and the Georgia General Assembly for several years. Before joining CBS Radio Atlanta, Maria spent more than a decade as an anchor and producer at the CNN radio network. Maria has earned many honors, including two Peabody Awards, two DuPont Awards, and various associated press awards in Georgia, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Candidates, this segment, you will have one minute to answer the question. If you invoke the name of your opponent, 30 seconds will be given to that opponent to respond. So choose your answers wisely. Maria Boynton will ask the first question. Good morning to each and every one of you. The first question concerns housing. Of course, we know displacement is a big issue in this city. The median family income in the city of Atlanta for whites is $82,000, and for blacks is $26,000. The cost of a two-bedroom apartment rental in Atlanta ranges from $949 to $1,719 per month. A person, family, would need a yearly salary of $37,960 or at least $18.29 per hour to afford the least expensive rental. My question to you, and we'll begin with Mr. Amon, what is your definition of affordable housing and your plan to increase affordable housing in the city? Ms. Bottoms. Thank you for the question. Um, we, when we talk about affordable housing, we also have to talk about workforce housing, not just about people who are making minimum wage, but we have to talk about our school teachers and our police officers and people who work at the post office. That is why I introduced legislation asking the city of Atlanta to create displacement-free zones. We saw the first zone rolled out, Vine City English Avenue, and what that does is a public and private partnership. It has created a fund that helps offset rising property taxes and also gives money to people to help fix up their houses. That is the type initiative that we have to have throughout this city and I look forward to expanding that throughout this city as mayor because if this city is not affordable for people across the spectrum then we have lost the very fabric that makes Atlanta great. Thank you. Ms. Norwood? Well there's several things. Number one, yes we need to work with AHA, with the Housing Authority for that very low $15,000, $30% AMI. Secondly, we have, we have examples of affordability in some apartment complexes in the city that have done a great job of having their apartments, their complexes clean, having them safe, having daycare on site. And so we need to replicate that across the city. If you can do it in a few places, you can do it in a lot of places. Third, we need to have workforce housing where you can get closer to where you work. And I want to see an employer-assisted workforce housing program so that the people that are at low income, and every industry has them, can get closer. It will help us with transportation, uh, with our traffic congestion. It will help them with their transportation cost and with their housing cost. 